Welcome to the IWA channel and Miss Carolina. Let's learn English together. So excited for the new year. Starting this January, I'm going to run once a week. But my main New Year's resolution is to learn French. Je m'appelle Claude. Je te coupe plow. <laughs> a New Year's resolution is something that you wish to happen in the near future. I really want to learn French. Like Joey. Really listen. Got it. Okay. Je m'appelle Claude. Je te flou flee. <laughs> what is your New Year's resolution? Ah, first you need to practice in English how to say a New Year's resolution. Don't worry, we can practice together with an episode from Friends. That, my friends, is my New Year's resolution. I love this episode because this one is key for when they discover Monica and Chandler's affair. Can I borrow your eyelash curler? I think I lost mine. Yeah, it's in the bed. <laughs> Joey, can I talk to you for a second? Oh, oh, oh. Go ahead and talk to We, the audience, know what's going on. Joey knows at this point what's going on. But Phoebe, Rachel and Ross, they don't know. So it's very amusing when we, the audience, know something that the characters don't know. But see, they don't know that we know that they know. Dramatic irony, it's called. We're all dying for them to find out because when they do, it's exciting, it's thrilling, it's exhilarating. Remember when Phoebe finds out later on? My eyes, my eyes! In this episode, Rachel finds out, but she cannot say anything because of her New Year's resolution. Hey, Rach, maybe your resolution should be to, um, gossip less. Your resolution should be to gossip less. Monica uses should because that is her advice to Rachel. Rachel agrees, so now Rachel's New Year's resolution is to gossip less. Hey, Rach, maybe your resolution should be to, um, gossip less. That is, to stop talking about other people's business. Now, I don't think Rachel is such a huge gossiper, to tell you the truth, but they needed this storyline to make it work. That way, when Rachel finds out, she cannot say anything because she promised not to gossip. <laughs> I'll just tell Rachel I'm going to be doing laundry for a couple of hours. Laundry, huh? Is that my new nickname? Now we have an obstacle and dramatic irony. Two basics for a good comedy. Let's look at the other resolutions in this episode. Every day, I am going to do one thing I have never done before. Ross is using I am going plus an infinitive to do. Every day, I am going to do one thing that I have never done before. Or we could say, I am going to do one new thing every day. Every day, I am going to do one thing I have never done before. That, my friends, is my New Year's resolution. This is a secondary storyline to the episode where Ross decides to wear leather pants on a date as his new thing for the day. Of course, this ends up as a disaster, which gives room to one of Chandler's famous sarcastic jokes, which connects to Chandler's New Year's resolution. Everything connects in friends. In fact, I'll bet you 50 bucks you can't go the whole year without making fun of us. Oh, you know what? Better yet, a week. So Ross and Chandler make a bet. And Chandler's New Year's resolution is to not make fun of his friends for a week, because a year would be too much for Chandler. Even a week proved to be too much for Chandler. You can't go the whole year without making fun of us. Oh, you know what? Better yet, a week. I'll take that bet, my friend. He really struggled with it, let me tell you. See? Elizabeth Hornswoggle? <laughs> That's right. Uh, Elizabeth Hornswoggle. Horn Swoggle. 
You okay, Chandler? We have two resolutions left: Joey's and Phoebe's. These two resolutions are connected, and they present another secondary storyline of the episode. Not a very important one, but it's a funny one. It gives us a light comedic relief. It makes us laugh. <laughs> All right, my New Year's resolution is to learn how to play guitar. Of course, Phoebe is going to teach him in her own way. You cannot touch a guitar until you're ready. Duh. Oh no no, you don't touch the guitar. Funny when Joey drops the guitar and proves Phoebe's point. And Phoebe's resolution couldn't be more absurd, which aligns perfectly with her clown character. Mine is to pilot a commercial jet. We have everyone's resolutions. Rachel, she is going to gossip less. Ross, to do one new thing every day. Chandler, to not make fun of his friends for a week. Joey, he is going to learn how to play guitar. And Phoebe, to pilot a commercial jet. Wait a minute. How about Monica? What is Monica's New Year's resolution? Eh, not very important for this episode, so it almost goes unnoticed. It just fills some moments. Oh, to take more pictures of all of us together. Did they go through with their resolutions? Well, that's another story. We start with the best intentions, but sometimes it's just too difficult. It was definitely too much for Chandler. His jokes. I need a whole new video just for those jokes. I can't take it anymore. I can't take it anymore. So you win, okay? Here, Phoebe's flying a jet. Better make it a spaceship so you can get back to your home planet. <laughs> And Ross, phone call for you today. Tom Jones, he wants his pants back. <laughs> And Hornswoggle, what are you dating a character from Fraggle Rock? <laughs> Anyway, just make sure that your resolution is something that you can do. Be realistic. And remember, there are two easy ways to express a wish in the near future. Number one, using the verb to go in the present continuous plus the infinitive. I am going to learn French. And number two, just the infinitive. My resolution is to learn French. Are you ready now for your New Year's resolutions? We are already celebrating Christmas with the Iwa app. Vocabulary for Christmas food and traditions is in our Christmas course. Install the app and get 50% discount. And you can also check out my YouTube channel, English with Us. All info and links in the description. Salut. Bonsoir. Bonne nuit. Bon revoir. Au revoir. Bye.